my day starts off before the sun is up. Well, it's coming over there, but it's not up yet. So, you know, it's one of those mornings where you gotta force yourself to say, it's a good day. It's a good day. We're just gonna run in here to the, the on-route. We're in Guelph at the on-route. And run in here and get ourselves some Timmy's. And then it won't, then I won't have to force myself so bad or so much to say it's a good day. It'll be more of a good day then. It's always a good day with Timmy's. So I just learned I've been telling you guys something wrong this entire time. I'm not at the Guelph on route. They call this the Cambridge on route. Okay, whatever. I guess because it's between Cambridge and Guelph, maybe it's closer to Cambridge by a few millimeters, I don't know. We're at the Cambridge on route, that's where we slept tonight. And now we're gonna head into Mississauga to unload. We got about an hour and 45 minutes to go 100 kilometers. During Toronto rush hour, I hope that's gonna be enough. We better get going. Done our first delivery. We were there early, thank you very much. Now we're just getting back on to the collectors here. Where all the traffic collects. In 1.6 kilometers, take ramp on left to Highway 401 East. All right, man, get past me. I gotta get over to the left. See if anyone's gonna let me. I have my signal device activated. That usually triggers a response from the right foot to hit the gas. Doesn't matter where I go, it's always windy. All right, here I am, hey guys, how you doing? So I'm standing here on the side of the highway up to Sudbury. So we're going from Mississauga, Ontario, which is pretty much Toronto, same thing to me. I know if you live there, it's like a crime to call it the same thing. Whatever, I'm from Winnipeg, forgive me. It's the same thing. So we, we're going from Mississauga, Toronto, up towards Sudbury. We're gonna get there like 3, 3.30 in the afternoon, real early yet, right? And I can't unload until tomorrow morning because that's when my appointment is and the freight that I have on, they need to have certain people there when I get there, right? So my delivery appointment, there goes a house. Just saying, there goes a house. My delivery appointment is for eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So we got some time off. So I stopped here on the side, uh, on this little pullout here to edit the video and whatnot that you guys watched yesterday. And I wanted to show you these rocks behind me. <laughs> That's the whole point of this. I wanted to show you the rocks. For me, being from Manitoba Flatlands, I'm not used to seeing this and traveling as I do, I sort of get used to it and what do you say? I, I sort of get used to seeing it, but no, I realize a lot of you probably don't get to see this kind of stuff every day. So I figure, why don't we go climb up there a little bit? There's nobody else here. So I may as well. What's the best way to get there though? Is there like a bridge? I can tell that people have gotten there before because there's those little like 
rock structures and someone wrote Ty and Abby on the rock there. I always wonder, a lot of people spray paint their names on the rock. That would be super awkward if it didn't work out. <laughs> you guys broke up and every time you pass by here, you gotta like remember the breakup. But then I guess you just come and spray paint over it again. But don't, I don't know. I am not condoning that, but whatever. You guys wanna do that? Whatever. Okay, I wanna get to the rocks there. Oh, how do I get there? <laughs> Everything cannot be so difficult. Aha! Oh, there's water down there yet. Oh, it's like a moat. Oh my. See, there's like a moat. It's like, that's the castle there, and you gotta cross the river to get there. How did people get there then? I'm not going for a swim. I don't feel like getting wet. Oh my. We'll try to figure this out. There's no way to get to the rocks. There's water in there. Let's see? How dare they? How dare they keep me from the rocks? I was gonna go climb up there, having a little adventure. I've been sort of having a boring day and whatnot, so I figured, yeah, let's go climb some rocks. I thought it'd be fun. No, apparently I can't. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so on the other side, they have a rest area just like here, right? Welcome to Canada, where we have outhouses for rest areas. You know, when I'm in the States, I'm always like, wow, they got like working toilets at every rest area. It's awesome. That's why I like driving in the States. It's just way better. No offense, Canada, but you understand. You know it's true. Sergeant, what you got there? What you got there? Nothing. No, I don't got nothing, man. I didn't touch anything. Is that your bone? Is that Diesel's bone? It's, it's, uh, it's my bone. What's that wet stuff there? What did you do while I was gone? Did you pedal? You I got a little excited, man. I'm sorry. I pedaled just a little bit. It's not that bad. I just pedaled a little bit. I got excited. I'll clean it up. I'll clean it up, man. Sorry, that's gross. Stop it. It's okay. It's not like you actually peed. You just got excited, right? That's what we'll say. Oh, uh, yeah. It's exactly right, man. It's exactly right. Diesel. How you doing, buddy? He pedaled, man. Did you see it? He pedaled. That's disgusting. It's right on the bed, too, man. That's disgusting. Now, I gotta pee on it, otherwise it's, not gonna, otherwise it's gonna be his bed. Whenever Sergeant pees somewhere outside... Sergeant, what are you doing? Brothers, fighting over who gets to finish the last bone. Sergeant, you already finished your bone. You ate it too fast. It's not Diesel's fault. Get out of there. Did you steal Diesel's bone? Is that why he was growling at you? You look really good, man, and I already finished mine. It's not fair. He gets he still gets to chew his. He didn't eat his as fast, that's why. Why what, what do you stop cleaning that up? Let it dry. That's gross, man. Well, it's grosser to eat it. Sometimes when I leave the truck he uh gets excited and he piddles a little bit. It's kinda of gross, yeah, I know, but what can you do? What can you do? He's a dog. That's why my truck always smells like a dog hose, sort of. I live with dogs in here. If you don't like dogs, don't come in my truck. I'm just saying. They live here. You don't. This is interesting. <laughs> they blasted a pathway for both sides of the highway here, but they left the rock in the middle there. Obviously, it doesn't matter if that's there or not. See, now, if there was a nice barrier like that between a divided highway all the time, that'd be awesome. Because then those people who are using their high beams on the other side wouldn't bother anyone on this side, you know? That'd be perfect. There should always be a big wall of rock between the directions of traffic, don't you think? Not to mention, it's a safety thing. Look, here's some more. If anything happens on that side of the road, I don't gotta worry about it. I probably won't even notice. I'll just keep going. Very unlikely they'll come flying over that. What are you doing on the shoulder? What are you doing? You're making me change lanes here. What's, what's going on? What are you doing? Do you guys change lanes when there's someone on the shoulder? You should. Especially if they got flashy lights. But regardless, you should if you can. But if they got flashy lights, you don't really got a choice. You got to move over. That's a law. You never want to break the law. Because then the law will come after you and break you break your bank account anyway. And we lost the safety of our middle divider of rock. And also our four lane highway. Back to the two lane. We're still an hour and a half from Sudbury. So we're gonna spend
spend the night. I think I'm going to stay at the Petro Canada. I think that's what it is there. It's just past the 17, I think. A little truck stop in there, nice paved parking and stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get a good night's rest tonight again. My, my body must be struggling to get over something that I don't realize. So I'm a little more sluggish today again, so I feel better than yesterday. I'm still a little more sluggish, so probably something going on inside my body that my body knows about that it's not telling me about. It's like, yeah, I got this. You don't have to worry about it. I got this. Just focus on what you got to do. And I say, thank you very much for taking care of it. You know, don't you just love it when that happens? You get sick, but you don't feel sick. You don't realize you're sick. That's the best kind of sick. Your body just takes care of it for you. Getting further up north here. Tomorrow we head a little further east. And then Remembrance Day. I don't know where I'm going to spend Remembrance Day because I can't deliver that day, so I'll have a day off. I believe I get paid for that day though because I, I can't do anything. I'll be able to get to my customer the day before. And then for Remembrance Day, I'm going to have to sit because no one's going to be open. So we'll have a moment of silence alone then in the truck. Thank you very much for getting us here in one piece, Diesel. Thank you very much. Such a good driver. And you make it look so easy, too. Oh, thanks, man. It's not bad. I do my best, you know. And you slept half the time yet. How'd you do that? Hmm. Oh, well, he got us here and we're parked. We're here at that Petro Canada in Sudbury, Ontario. Look, I'm not even lying to you. Look. That's a Petro Pass. The building's on the other side there. I got a primo spot along the grass over here because all of the parking over there behind that truck is all packed full, so everyone's starting to park along the edges here. Everyone was already on the edges on the other side, so I'm parking on the edge here. Works out good for me because then, hey, I just jump out the door and walk the dogs right there. Works perfect for me. Just saying. So today was a day of Ontario. There's a lot of Ontario days in my life. I don't live here though, if you're new to the vlogs, I'm from Manitoba, Canada. There's my flag over there. It's not an Ontario flag. It's close, but it's better. I wish we had our own flag in Manitoba, honestly. Obviously the Ontario flag was first. Why did Manitoba go and copy Ontario's flag? We're not Ontario, believe me. We're in the West. We need a Western flag. I don't know why we're connected to Ontario. <laughs> Bothers me. I want my own flag. Why doesn't Manitoba have their own flag? Uh, I'll go focus on it. There, right, yeah. there you go. See, we got the Union Jack with the St. George Cross with a buffalo in there, right? The only difference in Ontario's flag is that they got three maple leaves instead of the buffalo. Really? Really, Manitoba? Do we have not one creative person in the province? I'll create the flag. I can do it. Every U.S. state has a different flag. Look, there are flags right there. Every like they have 50 different flags. In Canada, all we have is 10 provinces, three territories, 13 flags. We ran out of ideas, we had to copy Ontario. <laughs> Whatever, I'll work on it. I'll write a letter. Dear leader of my province that I didn't vote for. <clears throat> Make a new flag. Sincerely, Josh. The guy who didn't vote for you. That's my letter. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed anyways here. I'm gonna edit this all up and uh, get a head start on tomorrow. I got some time here tonight, so I'll probably edit this vlog up right away, so why not? And I don't have to do it tomorrow. That'll be that. Yeah, so we, I have at least two deliveries tomorrow. One here in Sudbury, 
I forget where the other one is. It's close by here. Uh, it's on the way east, I think, towards Quebec. And then I have to wait, because the day after that is Remembrance Day. That's like Veterans Day in the States. We call it Remembrance Day in the British Commonwealth. We remember the soldiers that gave their lives so that I can make YouTube videos for free. Well, they didn't give them for that specific re reason. But they gave it so that I can live my life however I want. I can believe whatever I want. Do whatever I want. As long as I'm not hurting anyone else and not breaking the law. And that I don't have people oppressing me saying, Hey! If you don't become like me, I'm gonna cut your head off. See, I live in a country where that's not allowed. You're not allowed to cut my head off, sorry. Even if you're the prime minister, you can't cut my head off, it's against the law. People died for that, and I'm thankful. I am thankful. I can have whatever faith I want. Wear my hat, however I want. I can wear it like this the rest of my life. They couldn't do anything about it. You know countries like North Korea? There's only like, a few certified government approved haircuts you can't even have long hair as a guy in north korea how could you take that freedom away from the people if i want long hair i want to be able to grow long hair so on remembrance day we remember the fact that we can grow long hair if we want to so there north korea we're better because we're free Not that any of them are watching this right now because they're not free to watch YouTube like I am. They're not free to make YouTube videos either. I don't even know if they have internet there. I think they have their own little corner of the internet and they don't allow their citizens to go outside that. Because then they might realize that, hey, the rest of the world is awesome. We should leave. No, they wouldn't want that. So, remember and stay. Be thankful for all the freedoms you have. Even the ones you take for granted, I know we all, even including me, we all take it for granted every single day. Just the fact that you're watching my YouTube video right now where I can express my own opinions and you can watch them free. Not just free monetarily, like not just free money-wise, but I mean like freely watch whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You can even watch YouTube videos that bash your own government. There's a lot of countries where that would be banned. I'm going on, you guys get the point, right? Freedom. Be thankful for it. And on Remembrance Day, the reason I'm talking about this, on Remembrance Day, I uh, can't deliver because everything's closed, right? It's a holiday, national holiday. <laughs> so all you veterans out there, enjoy your day off. Uh, whatever ceremonies you attend, if you attend any. If you don't attend any, well, enjoy your day off anyway. And thank you. And I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow for me is not Remembrance Day yet, but when you're watching this, you're watching this on Remembrance Day. Oh my, that's why I'm going on and on about this. Yes, you're watching this on Remembrance Day, November 11th. Thank you to all you people who made it possible for me to express myself any way I want to in public and on the internet and not worry about people, you know, burning me on the stake or chopping my head off or locking me up in prison for my opinions. So thank you. I will talk to you all tomorrow, though, anytime at 4 a.m. Central Time. Just like every other day. Unless if I'm late. So if it's not up at 4 a.m., just wait longer. See, oh, I, don't, I learned on a YouTube video that this is offensive in some countries. Oh, this is Canada. Freedom. Not offensive here. Talk to you later.